you can see how our regions are created. In this example, we will create two air regions, the inner and the outer. First, let me insert a new part and then select a circular sketch. I can now go ahead and extrude an inner air region. Make sure you have the midplane option turned on. And also ensure that the inner rotor is completely surrounded by the inner air. We can now rename this component as air inner. Finally, we will have to subtract the inner rotor from the air region. To do that, we go to insert mold cavity and then we select the inner rotating core say ok and finally the inner air has been successfully created if you want you can change the transparency of the inner air region so that you can clearly see the rotor next we will create the outer air so we will follow a very similar process we will first select and insert a new part and then we will draw a larger circle and extrude the same. We can select the midplane option and then make sure that the outer air is sufficiently large to cover the rest of the model. We will then go ahead and rename to air outer and last but not the least we are going to create a cavity but now I will use the window select option to make sure that all the parts inside are included in the cavity when you say ok and exit out of the part mode the outer air is created as well as before, let us change the transparency. 